Good morning, it's time for the morning news. I am Wendy Lai. The headlines for this morning. Ghana's National Museum yet to be opened after its closure in November 2015 for renovation works will tell you the economic loss to the state. Pua Road Network continues to be a bane on many road users. We saw the spotlight on some of them in here in Accra. And later mission tonight, Brim Health Center in Setra Central District renovated after TV3's report. Let's start with our stories now. And the people of Birim and surrounding communities are now excited. Months after Mission's visit, the only health center has been renovated after years of neglect. A collapsed bridge linking the community to the rest of the Central Central District is also receiving attention after Mission's report. Right now, for reports, residents are looking forward to improved healthcare delivery. This is what will welcome you to Brim, a community of 3,000 and more. The rainy season worsens matters. Drivers simply overwhelmed. This whole community here, they don't have any assemblyman or MP here to solve their problem for us. No? It is not fair, as we can see, you know, we are all suffering. You have to uh, complete this bridge for us so that every problem will be solved. Healthcare was therefore a challenge. The only health center was in a bad state. Residents could not also go to the district capital to access healthcare, particularly during the rainy season. Mission had reported earlier of the precarious situation and the assembly acted upon this. Renovation works started. The over 3,000 residents of Birim are now excited. Staffing was a challenge as many refused postings, but this has changed. We still have a um, shortage of human resources, even though the government has recently uh, posted some staff to our district. But the problem that we are having is that as soon as they mention that you are going to such a central district. Then they start lobbying through other influential people. At the moment, we have about 18 people who have been posted to the districts, but we are still waiting for them. We have only three who have actually reported for permanent duties. District authorities want to improve healthcare delivery. We started that project when the, the rains were falling heavily. Yeah, and so we're bashed, actually. The people were not happy uh, at that time that we had to rip off the roof and then re-roof it again. But we kept on. And uh, now we have done a lot. I think that it is ready for us to, be, to begin operation. But a lot more has to be done. The facility is not connected to the national grid. This structure was in a very dilapidated state until it was renovated. Staff here are not happy, at least they can work in a very confident and comfortable environment. Their worry, however, is about electricity. The facility is not connected to the national grid, and so vaccines are stored in a private person's house. What is the fear? The fear is that they cannot trust whatever goes on there when the vaccines are left in that person's house. The house receives power from this communication mast and health staff are not happy. When you come to the CWC, then we have to go to our district counter for the vaccine. Then when we come and use and then there's a leftover. And if the leftover is so huge that we have to take them to Afranso. But if left with a small quantity, then we take them to our chief palace and store. 
So you can imagine that is a domestic fridge. So when you get there, they can push it aside. They will not be able to determine whether the vaccine are in the correct temperature. District health authorities are on top of dealing with health challenges in the Brim area. We have a solar panel equipment, a small capacity solar panel equipment. There used to be two, but one got broken. And so we want to enhance the capacity by buying a bigger capacity panel and then maybe inverters that will be able to provide some amount of uh, electricity to help them run the, the, the appliances that need electricity. The Central, Central District says Brim Health Center's challenges will be fixed soon. By July, the contractor will be on site. The materials and everything is almost ready. There should be a final sign of agreement between the Indian company and, and the government, and then they will bring it. You see, if they should have light, it's, it's the next town beyond, if you're talking about Tunzu, in my area. And you look at where Brim is. There's a market at the place. We have the clinic, a lot of schools. It holds around about 30 communities are around Brim. So any development that goes into Brim town itself has some athletes of some other communities that will come and enjoy it. So that, that's the area we've been fighting for. And I think that designs, everything has been done. They give us the deadline should be between June and July where the contractor will come. And that one is an India company. And they have some level of resources. So it will be quick when the project starts. The Brim Health Center provides care for many residents in that part of the district and the assembly says it is committed to improving services to the people. Bright Nananfo, TV3, Brim.